it's fascinating that moment when you realize that a place that you've lived in for 40 years, how did I not know this? That process of learning is reflected in the paintings. You can see the colors changing from early paintings to recent paintings based on what I'm seeing out there. As I'm learning, it's not like I'm accumulating all these notes and then I write a final paper. In painting, it's different. It's not research and then a final product. The research is the product. My knowledge of the history of humans in South Florida was more limited than limited, basically completely ignorant. I learned from the Cutler Fossil Site, the oldest archeological site in all of Southeast Florida, that there were humans 10,000 years ago in this part of the world. And that blew my mind. When you hike out through the tropical hardwood hammock to the Tequesta Burial Mound, who were the guardians of this land for two millennia, their presence is there and it comes to life and I felt connected with them. That completely shifted my perspective on how I see history and my place in relation to other humans from being at the Deering Estate. The paintings that I love throughout history and the paintings that I want to make involve hours upon hours of work. The visceral act of painting or of sculptures, right, that I see this human imprint on the process and that just comes from doing it for hours and it is an incredibly solitary endeavor. But that's one of the reasons that I like so much my teaching or the Deering Artist Hikes, because although the painting is solitary, what the paintings are about is existing in the world with other humans and with nature. See that? Look at the, the purple coming through. What do you think, Melly? It's pretty cool, huh? Mm -hmm. And then we're getting some smudging like this. Look, see how there's wet paint? Yeah. But I like that. Yeah. When you teach interdisciplinary classes, it's a symbiotic relationship. My classes became research and they became part of my life. We discuss all subjects. We look at art, but we also talk about uh, philosophical ideas. We talk about environmental issues. And so it's like I'm constantly being bombarded by wonderful subjects with the ability to reflect on them with a group of 20 brilliant students that have all these different perspectives, and then that feeds the work. That became the most enriching thing to me. I thought of coming in and doing the work that I always do, and then I started learning about the landscape and the history and the culture of Miami through the Deering Estate. This is a Tequesta burial mound. The geographic ancestors of Miami, people that were guardians of the land that we live on before us are buried in there. They could not dig into the ground because of the oolite. So they buried them above ground in a circle, heads towards the middle, and covered them with sand that they brought in from the bay. We have no direct cultural or a DNA connection to them. However, I'm currently paying homage to them, trying to connect with them by making a painting of their burial mound. It's an absolutely magical place. This oak tree that is on top of the mound is approximately 450 years old, which takes it to almost the time of Ponce de Leon when he arrives in 1513. That means that we are looking at a burial mound 
that was made before there was very limited European contact. It gives us a chance to go back to see Miami before the grand exchange between Europe, Asia, and Africa and the Western Hemisphere. Every day that I live, I realize I don't know my subjects. Every day, I want to adjust that by delving deeper into them. I had a perception of the landscape of Miami, which was actually not the real landscape of Miami. It was our constructed 20th century landscaped version. And the Deering Estate is the first time that I'm actually directly painting the natural world around me. Here, I engage with the much more raw, direct, consuming and authentic nature and flora of Miami. This is huge for me. The colors, my palettes have totally changed. I used to make blue skies. And then I saw the sunrises here. Just the incredible amount of colors that are in, I think just about every single color is in the sky now. And the sea is not blue, it's, some, it's blue some days, other days it's green, other days it's, it's like a, a burnt sienna. I still deal with social and conceptual issues that are happening in my life, but now those are set in a setting that is Miami through the Deering Estate.